Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Ash in the top lane. She's an absolute monster bully champion because of her 600 base auto attack range. She has the second highest base auto attack range in the game behind Caitlyn at 650. For example, Teemo is only 500, Ash is 600. So even against champions like Teemo, Ash does fine. Just make sure you ban Malphite because his Q range is 25 more than Ash at 625 versus her 600 auto range. Ash builds are pretty versatile, but in general, you go for Yomu's rush for positioning and you get the early tier two boots rush as well. Everything after that's generally situational, typically looking for Trinity Force and then to flex into some more tanky style stuff. Level one, make sure you look for an invade because of her perma slows. For our runes, we have press the attack, presence of mind for mana every time we an enemy champion with bloodline for staying alive, coup de grace, biscuits for staying alive again for health mana. Approach Velocity, every time we slow or CC the enemies, or my teammates do, we move faster into them. And then we have Attack Speed, 80, and Health. For our build, you have lots of options on Ash. You kind of want to go for a Yomu's Rush against a lot of matchups, because it makes you fast, and you can kite them out. Otherwise, just kind of Tier 2 boots into Kraken feels really good. Against Riven, we'll see how she plays, and then I'll know whether I want to go Yomu's or Kraken. Let's go ahead and get her with an auto and kite back. Hell of Blades is also really good for this. If she lets me get that next auto, I'd be very pleased with myself. Auto W, auto. I think I can get this next one. Ooh, there it is. It's the oppressive attack one. I took a lot of minion damage for it, but I'll say worth. We have to build up an HP lead to maintain control when she's level 3. In the melee range matchup, if the melee champion can stay full health and be level 3, it kind of resets the lane into somewhat even footing, especially because they can take a gank while high health level 3. So what, what she's doing right now is correct. She kind of just needs to be patient and conserve her HP somewhat. It's okay for her to give up CS. And we need to bully her when she goes in to get it. Flash Ghost, we should be able to survive a gank as a whole. If she starts playing crazy aggressive, we, we already know, like, okay, we're getting ganked. We see Nunu's nearby. Gives us a level of confidence. Launch my E over there. Want to see where where's what. Who's what where. Looks like Rengar started top side and path to bot side because I didn't see him there. His Krugs and Red Buff were gone, so he must be bot right now. I should have used my Q there. Auto into Q. There we go. Q is a great auto reset. It's not very much mana either. Rengar it should be bot side here. He did start top, I'm 99% sure. This is the best time to poke people underneath her. Ash has 600 auto range. She's the second longest base auto range in the game behind Caitlyn. There's exceptions to the rule, like Churtris passive scaling over time or empowered autos on things like Kog'Maw, but as a whole, Ash is the second longest auto range in the game. Auto key reset. She's really low. She did get my ghost. I thought she was committing to an all-in. I shouldn't have ghosted that early though, since it's kind of clear she didn't have the damage for it. Got her with an auto there. W auto Q. Down she goes. A lot of people playing melee champions will end up getting bored. Or they kind of feel like you're bullying them. They get desperate. That's exactly what happened there. She felt bullied and wanted to do something about it. She needed Rengar though. She should have, what she needed to do. I'm, I'm saying this from the perspective of what I would do as her. To improve my chances to stay alive give up some cs it's fine and then basically wait for the gank that's her best bet but now that she's behind gold and and experience right it's not just last hits now it's and experience because she's missed minions i'm gonna hit six first she's gonna have a late six it's gonna be harder for her to take ganks and I should be able to keep soloing her. We got the tier 2 boot rush swifties. Easy to kite on. Auto and a W. Run her down here. Auto and a Q reset. Oh, we need to kite away from this. This is trouble. She decided she didn't want it. If Nunu was here, she was dead. So she, she probably weighed the risk reward doing half my health versus potentially dying. 
Auto in the queue, couldn't get it. Auto W. Not really sure where these guys are at. I'll launch an E. You typically want to wait till you're pushed to maximize its value and slide it through the whole enemy's jungle, but we know he isn't on Krugs at least right now. That's something. I do have R. You don't typically want to launch it across the map. The odds of it landing are crap. You save it for ganks. Or if you're desperate. Launch Q. Extra attack speed on hit. Auto W. Don't want to miss the minion. It's going to cost us some mana there. She can't even punish us. She's not over here. There she is. Let's Rengar 6, which should be around somewhere 7 minute 30-ish. Junglers. Then we'll be in deep danger of dying to ganks. We see he is mid right now. He's soaking some minion experience. Can fish in single autos, run out of turret, and wash, rinse, repeat. These minions are really going hard for us here. They're completely ignoring her minions. Auto W. Kind of waiting for her to use an ability. Stepping up's a little bit safer. She's willing to give up CS. Got her with the W. It outranges my autos. It makes it safe if she's slowed for me to step up to hit her. So she can't get this type of thing going. Auto WQ. I'm going to use the biscuit. And we kite it out. Down she goes. Rengar's red buffs up. I can back Nunu up on that. Auto W. And... Yeah, not bad. I guess Nuni doesn't want Rengar red buff. We'll slide it through to the Raptors. Your Hawkshot will go to wherever you click it to. Yeah, he's on red right now. That would have been so free. I'll help with this. Rengar's probably 6 or close to 6 here, so I'm a little worried about him ganking me. Go ahead and take this for some mana. Riven's pretty killable here. I have Ghost. If she steps up and is kind of pushing, it should be free. Leave a ward right here. Rengar probably on Krog coming to gank me or reset. Oh, yeah. I'll let Riven step up. I'll Ghost for this. Auto W. I have Toggle Champions only. Auto Q reset. I accidentally misclicked twice there. I toggle champions only. It's really useful when the enemies are near their minions or if they're underneath turret. So you, you can't accidentally click on a minion. Because even if you're clicking really precise, hitboxes can kind of get in the way and make you waste an auto. It's the tilde by the one. Your cursor turns red. And if you, if you don't click on a champion, you're, you just keep moving towards that spot. <clears throat> I, I, this is close enough to a crash wave. This should end up pushing into me, I'm pretty sure. We don't need to finish pushing it from there. I'd say Yomu's here. Probably best. We have to stay mobile. We have to stay kiting. Yomu's isn't... Pretty sure it's not nerfed on ranged champions yet. If it is, it's not that big of a nerf because it has a 72% win rate on Ash. Top lane. I don't mind having it. After Yomu's, we can look to get tankier items that give a little bit more health, like Trinity Force. A experimental hex plate for our spam or even things like jack show randoms if we need it. it can function more as a supporty tank type character my team's already tanky with Nunu though so I don't think we need another like, secondary tank really auto W trying to slow this wave down wasn't really trying to use my biscuit there Riven only tier 1 boots I'll launch it a hawk shot Check the drag. Takes forever to move. Okay, they're not on it. So if Rengar's not on drag, there's a good chance he's topside right now. This bush is warded. I got her with the slow. Auto into R. We Q reset. I saved my R until she's coming out of Nunu knockup because we don't want to stun her while she's already knocked up necessarily. We want to spread it out a little bit. So it's an R auto in the Q reset, and we can auto W even. Q and W are auto resets on Ash. Mix them in between your autos to maximize damage output. Now that we're pushed, you see we can slide Hawkshot all the way through. And we look on the mini map here, and we see Rangar. Imagine that. We can also see what camps he's taken. So we already know he kind of wants to come top here. 
I don't want to. I don't know if I really want to stay to kill a Riven. It's dicey. I don't have those type of items. Yeah, here's the Rengar. I can flash it immediately. Oh. Auto W auto. I'm dead. Yeah, Nunu just needs to survive here. He's not going to be able to kill either one of them. Rengar landed his bola. Well played to him. I mean, I flashed. I guess I needed to say flash to dodge the snare bowl and I would have lived there. It stinks. Now that we have Yomu's going for Trinity's generally, which we want, or Kraken. I think I'd rather have Trinity. Gives us a speed up whenever we auto as well. From here, it's going to get less and less safe for us to play lane. So I just want to take her turret and group with my team if possible. I guess we can go here. Yasuo is going to handle Riven. Me and Nunu can go kill Smolder. I have my R plus Ghost plus Yomu's. Yeah, Smolder's dead here. I don't want to show too early to scare Smolder. And now I'll show. There's the Nunu knock up. Oof. I didn't think I needed an R, but I guess Smolder's doing Smolder stuff. We kill Smolder, take drag. I mean, even if Smolder suicides, it's free drag. Smolder's a ghost? Huh. Man, I just don't know what that champion does, apparently. She doesn't have Flash or Ghost. I think we team fight here. Smolder's not going to be able to kite out effectively without sums. Auto W into Q. I should have R'd sooner, I think. I, I just haven't played against that champion enough. I'm wondering if my R can connect before Smolder starts its weird little fly ability. Auto R, Auto W, Auto into Q. Very nice. I think we might have something right here. Nunu doesn't want it for some reason, and I'm fed too. <clears throat> Auto Q. <clears throat> Nunu R, that's hilarious. And that is six grubs for our team. It's a lot of extra damage. If we have a pick here, we can make uh, once we get this ideally I'm yo moving in I can't get to it well, Riven shoved up she's ready to die someone's right here not sure if he saw me or not Riven tier 2 boots I'm 423 movement speed she's 385 I am faster I'm gonna ghost for this I need to get on her she's right here okay she's not she's she's over here Into auto W. She's got nowhere to go. She's going to hop over that wall. Yep. Auto into Q. Auto W. Down they go. Now we can take Harold. Cool. If you want to push the wave real fast, line up on the side with Ash. Hit a W. Your W doesn't do any more damage the more arrows that land on a single target. So peeling off to the side to hit maximum targets pushes the wave way quicker. Rengar is pathing towards my Jinx. We need to get this Scuttle so Nunu can utilize it. A lot of Nunus don't realize how good Scuttle is. Because Nunu W lasts for, I believe, 10 seconds. Even if Nunu only has... Uh, I guess I'm thinking of Ghost in this instance. But basically, any speed up affecting him at the start of the W persists. So he basically has 10 seconds of Scuttle speed up by using W. I have Yomu's here. Well, Yomu's in on her. Hit her with the slow. We're going to auto into Q. Auto R, auto. Auto W. I don't want anyone to show up and mess up this kill. It's the only reason why I used my R. Oh, and the enemies quit. Well, that was pretty short. We'll go ahead and do a part two because Ash top lane is so gosh darn fun and oppressive. I'll see you guys there. Oh, Lord, he coming. All right, here we go easy holy moly we play this all the way i have ghost 
Alright, we play this all the way. I have slow on Teemo. I have slow on Bran. I have slow on Teemo again. I'll auto, auto. Ooh, no! There it is. There it is. And that's why you don't invade Ash. Because whenever you invade Ash, if the invade doesn't go swimmingly, everybody dies. You just can't get away from it. She speeds up when she slows you because of approach. She slows everything. I kind of want to just go boots here. Boring, I know, but it's worth it. Got three assists, not worth a whole lot. The kill itself was pretty good. Sion got two kills, so Victor's in trouble. Sion should have gotten a D-Shield against Victor. D-Shield's cracked with second win synergy. Sion's been nerfed as a whole, so you don't see him as much mid lane. Just walked up, hit him with a Q. I don't know if I'm going to miss a minion here or not. I took last stand. That was a mistake, an accident. I was supposed to have coup de grace. It is what it is. Uh, as a range character, coup de grace is a lot better because ideally we have high health. Go ahead and launch the W here, here in a second. I want to make sure it's going to hit Teemo, though. I also don't want to mess up a last hit. There we go. He's tanking my minions because he hit me near my back line. That's why our health trades off there pretty evenly. I'm going to focus the lowest minion. He goes in for a last hit. I'm going to get him with an auto because I have nothing to last hit right now anyways. I did tank a bunch of range creeps for that, though. Whenever we slow something, our next auto against it does more damage. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's part of the Ash passive. Auto and a W. Got it. Nice and nice. I'm going to get close to land that last hit. Don't have enough attack speed to get all of these, though. Not quite yet. Drop the W auto. Gave up a minion to hit the Teemo. He's free gank for Evelyn. I hit him with one slow and he's dead. He doesn't even have flash, I don't think. I'm going for the Q auto. We outrange him by a lot. His blind's on a cooldown here. I don't want to give up cannon. All right, this, he, this is a free kill. Auto W. Evelyn can take it. It doesn't matter who gets it here. Probably better Evelyn gets it, to be honest. No. All right, that was really close. He almost got away. Timo has boots because he got a kill level one apparently. Walk closer, get our auto there sooner. And I'm going to continue to push. I can take a gank here if Evelyn comes back. It's free. We're going to max our W first. Q second, E last. Auto in the Q. Q is pretty cheap. I could go ahead and reset, say on 900 gold. Teemo's just so freaking easy to gank, man. He's free with Ash. Against Teemo. You know, I think I do just want some more uh, movement speed. First item rush. Yomu should still be appropriate. Lots of lethality, good synergy with our autos, Q and W. Go ahead and mute all. Everyone is muted now. Too many pinks. Brand jungle again. He has no items, though. It's just a jungle item. Pike out plays it, and they're good to go. Teemo, big wave pushing into me here. It'll be on my turret probably about a minute. Got tier 2 boots. He only has tier 1s. You would think Teemo would counter an AD carry. The problem for Teemo is he has 500 base range. Ash has 600. Ash has the second highest base auto range in the whole game. To where Teemo at 500, me at 600. It's kind of hard for him to even get in range to hit me. His blind art outranges his auto, so he can hit poke me with that, but once that's on a cooldown, he, it's not a consistent point of shred for him. He's crashing the wave. I can't really stop it. I'm trying to slow it down. If I can slow it down, set up the Eve gank, that'd be ideal. Almost got it. Not sure where he went. Oh, apparently he's right there. Brand's there. Oof, Eve's dead. They knew she was there. That's kind of weird. Really unlucky for Evelyn. It's weird that Bran was even coming topside there because I was underneath my turret with high health. I think I think that was just unlucky. Because Eve can always come back when she's six. 
That mushroom's gonna go off any second. Auto and a key reset. Oof. Didn't even get it. Cut him out with W. He doesn't even have blind, so he's just dead here. I'm gonna ghost for it. Auto Q. Walk him down with R. And the autos. Yes, sir. There it is. There it is. Auto W. Auto Q. Now we're pushing. Auto Q. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Trying to get a plate out of this guy. We'll poke him with W every time it's up. He doesn't have a whole lot of sustain. Fleet doesn't heal you very much off minions. It's mainly off turrets and champions. Range champs, it's even worse off of minions. It's practically nothing. We'll use our last biscuit for more mana. The lower health and mana you are, the more your biscuit regenerates both. Typically when you're below half is when you're shooting to use it. Auto W. Got with that W, followed in for an auto. It's an okay trade. His fleet's on cooldown here. I gotta pull this back. He's just so easy to gank is the thing. He's always pushing. He's always playing up. All I have to do is hit him with one slow. Yeah, he's got a control word down right here. Poke him with the W. Couldn't quite get it there. Get him with the W. Nice, nice, nice. He's really trying to push here. Auto QW. I have the wave stalled out a bit. Poke me with a blind art. That's funny. Pike's coming top. He recognizes tops of free gank more so than Eve does. So literally, I slow Teemo once. <coughs> and he's dead. He's about to pop out of the bush and try to kill me. I need to auto something to heal. Alright, I died. That stinks. I gotta blow my nose too. It's a double whammy. I'm getting countered by my allergies right now. Whew. It's free, 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 free to gang. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Alright, I'm headed back. Nice, Pike got the kill. Cool. <sighs> Alright, we're good to go. He's gonna step up and push like he's been doing for the last six minutes, and then he dies. He just needs to wait. Whew. Uh, he's got he's got the mushrooms up there and everything. Looks like Timo went mid now, huh? Cause I'll just push. See, he's done playing top after that. It's weird because he ended up even getting a kill on me. I guess he's gonna lose some turret unless he tries to cross over. Auto Niku. He doesn't have flash or ignite. He burnt that on us a minute ago. They must be lane swapping. That's the only thing that makes sense here. This is at least two plates total. TMO is low. Victor's probably coming top. Haven't seen Brand a whole lot this game. We'll launch an E through. We're in a perfect position to do so. We see the Brand. I can nail Brand here. I'm all, I'll ghost for it. WR. Down he goes. Can go back for Victor. Victor is not a full item. 
I don't know why. He is just... I'm just gonna like do a, a dumb recall over here. He went in really early there, that's alright. We still get the kill. Eve dies somehow. Victor damage, I guess. And there we go. Not bad. I can afford Yomu's. I'm just going to reset. I might start roaming. These ganks are not panning out very well. He's wasting a lot of time playing top and not getting particular value. All right, second item. I'm thinking Trinity Force. Trinity feels good on Ash for staying on top of people. I can verse Teemo. I don't think Scion really can verse Teemo here. Pike gets the hook. Teemo blinds him out. That's a good mushroom he had there. If I had R, he's, he'd be dead here. Teemo got scared real fast. Wasted my Yomus. I need a ward down right here. Poking with W's. These W's are going to hurt too because I have Yomus. Extra bit of lethality. Not sure if you even got that last hit. Nice, nice, nice. They're all kind of bot side right now. Because I can just stay mid. Team OCS isn't too shabby for having so many deaths. Uh, I'll run him back a bit. Launch the R. Auto W. Nice, nice, nice. Their red buff's coming up. I'll head over there. There's three of them bot side. I mean, Eve doesn't have R though. It's a little risky if Thresh hits hook. Sumir has Collector as well. Brand's full item. Eve is not. Might be safest to just wait for Brand. Oof. I wasn't trying to steal that. That's my bad. At least we both get red since... I don't know why we both get red there. I thought it, there, there had to be two dragons taken for the, to leave one. Drop the W. Auto. Oof. He hit stun there. Auto W. My second W just straight up whiffed hard. Yikes. My second W is no good. Timo has flash. He could potentially kill me here. This is the bad fight. Samir is fed. And it's warded. Try to W him off me. I didn't actually hit him though, so he's still moving really fast. Nice and nice. Got it all. Timo's right here. I'll activate my Q and try to push. He's probably on his way bot side right now. Okay, looks like he laid a control ward. Step right here. Not bad. He's got a word right here. I'm just gonna fake recall on this guy. He's gonna fall for it. Oh, maybe not. I'm surprised. <laughs> Good for him. Maybe he's on dragon. Oh, that's what's going on. He wasn't. It's not that he didn't fall for the bait. He's just going for drag. Makes me feel a little bit better. Going for my W. Nice, nice, nice. We get drag. I land R here. Oh, it missed. So close. Sign R's through. I'll ghost for this. He's getting absolutely obliterated. I don't know why Sion's still going for that turret. Maybe he thought we we're all going to die some merit. She's moving slow. I got her with the slow. I'm tanking turret as well. Took as many shots as I could there. Without dying. I'm out of here. I'm resetting. Can't quite afford my Trinity Force, unfortunately. I can wait on Fountain for 30 gold. Not a huge deal. Skidoosh. Yeah, get it. 
ours up soon. We have Yomu's speed up. Biggest threat to us is getting hit by a hard CC, a long range brand stun, uh, hitting a Teemo mushroom and their team running me down. I don't think that last one's too much of a concern since we have Scion to front line with. He can kind of push them away from me. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. My R's up. I can find a pick here. Samir's missing a little bit of health. Yeah, there goes her bone plating. Bone plating's on cooldown. She's really squishy here. She doesn't have any magic resist, no health items. This is kind of dicey though. Eve does find the pick. Auto W auto. Alright, we'll take it. Auto W. Ooh, there's someone right here. Nice, I get the assist. Cool. I like it. Eve ends up dying. That's all right. Why is Pike doing that? Auto W auto. Oh, I'm dead. That stinks, man. Timo's damage was wild there. All he hit us with was autos and ignite. He was able to make that work. Wits End would be decent. There's so much freaking magic damage. Your only physical is truly Samira. Wits End would, would be solid here for sure. I could even go Kanic versus the Teemo. In fact, screw it. I'm going Kanic. It's not nerfed on range champs for some reason. It's still full value. If I run into a Mushroom, I'll essentially take zero damage. And like I said, their whole team's magic damage except for Samira. That's why you see Scion with a Kanic. That, that does nothing because it blocks and you're still health regenerating while your Canic shield's blocking on the front end. And the Canic's only on a 12 or 15 second cooldown from the last time you took magic damage, which is very short. I wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> they didn't need my R, of course, but I want to be a part of that. Got free red buff here. Brand's going to come for this. Brand's going to come for this. He's probably on Krugs right now. I might be on a ward. I could have used my Yomu sooner, I guess. Nice. Evelyn gets the kill. Should be red buff. Varus needs to go pick up that red. That's why I'm pinging it. Oh yeah, I need to grab this red. <laughs> I'm pinging Varus. Need to ping myself. Don't have Yomu's. Don't have my R. Oof, that Evelyn Q did no damage. Wow, I hit a mushroom. That's bad. Gone with the W. I was thinking about pressing R, but we don't have the follow-up. Pike Cook already on cooldown. There's double bloom plating there off one W. Nice. Bone plating makes a huge difference when you're trying to all in somebody. So if you can get that on cooldown, I think it's like a 30 second cooldown. Makes it a lot easier to actually kill them. Leave that right there. We can go for drag here and set up. Teemo can't even get over there right now, so there shouldn't be mushrooms on it. I have R too, so if Bran steps up here, I think he's dead. Ram is right here. Someone's gonna step up. They don't have vision in this area. Thresh hasn't been here. Yeah, they have vision of that though. Wow, he's really throwing out the long range stuff. All right, we take drag. They want to give up the objective. That's fine. Eve's already 10 stacked dark still, so getting kills here does nothing. Eve needs to get mesh. I mean, even if she got a kill there, it wouldn't do anything. She doesn't even have mesh. It's all risk, no reward. Auto W auto. If I were my teammates, I'd build magic resist. Evelyn should get a mesh Lich Bane or a mesh Banshees for sure for hitting random Teemo mushrooms. Because the only way they win is if, e if 
Evelyn dies, loses her med stacks, and gives shutdown gold. But if she has banshees, that won't happen. Straight team of mushrooms won't get her killed and reveal her. Oh, this is bad. Auto him down. I don't need to R. Or do I? Auto Q auto. He's starting to do a little more damage than I wanted. Question is here, do I go Canic or do I go Wit's End? They'd both be fantastic. Pike does have uh, Umbral. I could just go Umbral to clear more TMO Mushrooms. That might actually be better than going for a Canic. Umbral's also pretty cheap. Nice. We all get blue because it's past 20 minute mark. Someone might come up for this not realizing it's gone. Just farm that. We wait. Evelyn doesn't have to be in front is the thing. Yeah, someone's going to step up for blue gromp. You can feel it. I don't have R, but I do have my slows. Hmm. So he might come this way. Yep, Brand came. He did exactly what I thought he was going to do. We weren't patient enough. I'm going to flash away from that. Holy crap. I land my R on Teemo. Down goes Evelyn. She got the kill on Teemo and decided to press forward. That's the tricky thing about playing Evelyn is you can play well for most of the game and then just make a silly mistake. Cost you massively with the mesh. I'll go Canic. I need to buy Oracles. Everyone on our team should have Oracles for the Teemo Shrooms. Scion's scaling out of control. Scaling big time. Oh, Varus tried to launch Scion in. That's funny. I'll ghost for this. Focus the Samira. She's pressed the attack. Auto W, auto Q. Down she goes. I'm getting Victor torn up here. Gotta miss my W on him. R just came up too. Auto Q, auto. Experimental Hex Plate is good for Ash. It's a little late for me to be buying that for R spam. Alright, I'll launch it here. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Got with my W slope. Nice. I can't really get to this guy though. Look at that. The Oracle range is dirty. Broke three mushrooms off one of Oracles. I haven't been using my E that much this game. I need to use my E a little bit more. I keep forgetting. This is a kill. Oh, I mean, if Eve comes, she has R. She needs to be invisible, though. They saw her there. Eve is exhausted. All right, he almost died. If they didn't have exhaust, it was a kill. Whew. That's that's a tough fight right there. Signs at least getting topside turret while that's all happening. Drag up in 58. Got to be alive for that. I'll launch R for that. Skadoosh. Got the assist. He didn't need it. Certainly didn't need that. Got him with the W. We take drag here. I do not need this. Uh, they might step up. Victor's missing a lot of health. We have time for drag spawns. All right, now we go back. Oh, Victor, Victor, Victor. I have Yomus. I'm coming. Eve just needs to not scare him immediately. All right, now we go. Victor's trying to kill me, of course. My team should just be able to take drag for free. Victor's dead. They don't have vision on it. Teemo just spawned. Ooh, this is free. I have R. 
I'll launch R for this. It hits, it hits. I'm gonna save W till after. Auto W auto. Brand's right here. I have to fight till I die. Because I'm gonna die, I think. Dude, Kanik's pulling some value. My pre Kanik items saved my life. Base health regen from Spectral Cal. Plus the magic resist counteracting his sorks. Now that I have Kanik, we're cooking, baby. Cooking in the big leagues. Scaling so hard right now. Can step on mushrooms and not even feel it. After we have Wits End, I might go Umbral just to counter out the Teemo. That's their only win condition now is him getting out enough mushrooms. Nice little Evar. Varus is on drag. Whew. Uh, I guess I can Yomu's and try to ghost in for this. I'm so far away. Got a slow on the Thresh. Auto W auto. Auto Q. Could potentially R Victor here. There it is. There it is. Nice. We'll take it. It's a lot of Teemo mushrooms. He's laying them right on our minion, so it blows up on us as well. That's smart of him. He's clearing the wave and also threatening us at the same time to where we can't press forward. Auto W auto. Ooh, Samira flash on cooldown. Don't know how Evelyn killed it. Must have been her storm surge. In the queue. I can't slow them because I'm blinded. Whew. Brad's trying to get me, boy. Save me. <laughs> Holy crap. Slow on the Thresh. He's guaranteed dead now. Kite away from him. Ash is too freaking good for solo queue. One slow and you win. Auto W auto. Mm, I gotta get out of this. I do have R. There it is. Got the W down. That hurts. Slow on to Samira. No one else has anything to follow up with, I guess. Slow on to Samira again. I'm going to flash that. She's slowed. It's going to be hard for her to even stay on anyone with her R when she's moving that slow. I'm going to play the edges here. I almost got my Koenig back, and then I got hit by Ludens from Victor. Stray magic damage stalled out my Koenig. Launching in max range Ws, and we hit the base. GG's well prayed. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. I had 25 assists, 7 kills, so I don't expect to have the most damage at all. Let's see it. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we almost did the most damage in the game with having pretty much only assists like we had almost four times as many assists as kills so I'm, I'm really happy with that as a whole we did more damage than even anyone on the enemy team for damage taken took a decent amount and for self mitigated a decent amount but not compared to scion he self mitigated 100k for runes high value all in all ash top super fun pick incredibly powerful as well especially if you know if you were playing it into just make sure you ban malphite malphite q range is 625 ash range 600 you can see the issue there plus the armor stacks makes it to six you lose by default at that point it's so ban malphite and you're good to go if you guys enjoyed this ash video let me know what champion you want to see next down in the comments below my name is king sticks thank you for watching i'll catch you guys next time